welcome to another good dose visual shader tutorial and today we are going to be making this water tune shader it's really simple and stuff but before we get started you are going to need a plugin that to help us with to achieve this noise look like this is not used made using a noise texture made using a Voronoi texture and Godot doesn't have like you don't you can't just write Voronoi and then Voronoi just comes in so we need a plugin to actually give us this texture and where you can get that is in this place so the link is in the description so you just get it you can see some of the nodes that it actually comes in to that it has to the good old visual shader a really helpful plugin i'm still learning and observing it and stuff so yeah you just go over here click on the code and you you download it then when you've downloaded it so when you when you've downloaded it you locate it this is it shader v right so you open it up i'm opening it with 7 zip and click it and this add-ons folder you just go to your project file of uh, your project folder which is mine vfs good stuff like and just drag it in there mine there's already an add-on so i won't be doing that again and that is when you drop that in you're all set like that's just it you can see it will import and that's basically it so if i come over here and i want to like create a node you could you see this add-on once you see this is actually working and stuff so that's basically once we need so with that done uh, let's go back to create our shader so i have a tree here with a mesh instance and a directional light and stuff i use the light because we are going to be you know what i'll need to interact with light and stuff so yeah with that done you just click a create your mesh if you've done that go to geometry and create a new shader material and create a new shader oh my god can you just leave me the arrows and i'll just come put call this water water s because i already have like some bunch of water shaders while so experimenting with this so just call it water shader whatever you want to call it and then hit create and when that's done uh click on the water the shader and get this animation the shader panel so i'm going to raise this up a bit and yeah let's start cooking our shader now the basically what we prefer need to do is to give our mesh a base color which we'll be able to change if you want a different kind of color so i'm just going to search color color and i'm going to go with a color parameter so i can edit it in the inspector and i'll call this color or you can call it base color whatever so you can see shader parameters is up here and click that and let's oh god and yeah i'm going to go for something blue okay so that should be okay um maybe a little bit much more blue yeah all right with that done we can start making the shader so what we want to make what we want to use is uh okay also if you have the add-on you can go into the examples and there's a scene like basic example scenes where you see all the shaders and types you can even like all the type of shaders that come with the plugin so you can see all of them yeah just like the same image you saw in the github so this is it and what we want to use is this uh wally wally two times two or you can use the wally 3d noise but i'm using the wally two times two times two shader so that's basically what i'm going to be using so go back while you can so that you can know what you search for and i'm going to right click add node and search for the wally and you can see it's here wally noise two times two times two okay and if we connect that to our emission you can see that this happens the uh, noise is actually uh, showing itself on the displaying on the mesh and stuff so 
Now one thing you notice is it's just white and it's covering the bluish part. So we need to dissolve it a bit and the way we can do that is with the power node. With the power node, this and if we connect this to the emission, it will probably turn white. Yeah, it will turn white because we are not dissolving anything. And let me just drop this eye stuff here. So we are going to be look have a, something we can use to actually control this uh, the dissolve amounts, how much dissolve we want. So drag here, yeah, and we are going to use a float parameter. A float parameter, and I'll call this dissolve. amounts okay you can set default values if you want but i'll just go back to the parameter and let me show you guys so if i drag here in you can see it actually starts dissolving and showing less and less of the uh, noise texture so that's what the power node does it dissolves stuff and stuff yeah you can actually easy to get that okay the next thing we need to do is the noise is static so we need to make it animated and the best way we can do that is with this it has a time uh, slot here so just drag that out and we are going to connect that with a time Gosh, what did i press press the wrong thing okay so time okay and you can see that it's now being animated it's moving uh, somewhere uh, it's moving and stuff so but we can actually do more by uh, make we able to be control the speed that is how fast they move and jitter and stuff so what we can do is we basically use a multiply node a multiply node a multiply node and we are going to connect another float parameter here to control the speed so i call the speed of the wave and uh, wave speed okay and just connect that to the time and it should Uh, sorry, I don't know why this is coming up. It should stop moving. So if we increase this, we get our speed back. We can make it really fast. You see, so that's basically adjust it. So I'm going to leave around 0 0.5 or something like that. Pretty nice. Now, the next thing we need to do is, is just static, even if it's at a jittering water is normally start not static and you probably want it to look like it has a kind of wave like effect so for us to be able to move the texture we are going to be using this offset to actually do that and for us to not bother about animating it by ourselves and we are going to use a sign node to actually give it a move forward move backward move forward backward kind of thing so i'm going to yeah let us drop this here uh, or not let's from the time node from the time node i'm going to create a sign a sign node yeah a sign node sorry for this and if we turn this up you can see that it goes from black to white black to white and if i connect it connect that directly to the offset we get we get this like it's too fast we need to be able to control the speed so we are going to be using a multiply node and a vector 3 vector 2 actually a vector 2 
um, parameter. So we can control the direction and the speed and drag a vector to vector to parameter. Okay, I'll call this wave direction. Wave direction. Okay, and if we connect that to the offsets, nothing is just not going to be moving. Yep, it's going to stop because we haven't added the values in the inspector. So for the x, I'll give it a point. If you need a very slow value, so 0 0.5, depending on your taste. So it has a little bit of movement. So let me increase it a bit to like 0.1. I'm not noticing it. I, uh, this is the x axis, right? Point one. Wow, it's very slow. Okay, one and point five. Let's see that. Point one. Okay, so I'm going to go for point one, and I'll give the little bit of movement in the y axis. Point three. And I so much. So point one. Now you can see it's actually moving a bit upward and downward. If you want to increase the speed, you can do that. So yeah, so that's for those and yeah uh what's next what's next i think that's basically it for the basic water stuff okay one more thing we need to be able to control the scale of the wave maybe if you wanted bigger waves how do you do that there's a scale option here and you can just drag floats parameter i'm actually still new to this add-on i just discovered it like this weekend created this water because i was looking for a voronoi and i came upon it and yeah so just call this the wave scale wave scale and yeah so this will control the scale of the waves so you can make it as small or as big as you want okay and that's that so you can reduce the dissolve amount if you want so you can get much more look like that and all right so that's basically it uh, let me just take a look at the one i made and make sure that it's actually basically it okay so yeah i think yeah that is the only thing that what is wave speed wave scale dissolve amount direction okay yeah the only stuff that's remaining is the interaction with light because you can see that mine can actually reflect the directional light here it can actually reflect that uh, let me rotate this a bit and you can see it's reflecting it so yeah we need to make yours do, do that also so how we do that is we use the metallic and the roughness properties we have to play with those things so we are just going to no, nothing much it's not that hard uh, like just to connect a flows parameter to both of them and that's it so go over to the rough metallic or the roughness and you are metallic and you use a flows parameter i don't really know what i call this but i just call this stuff but you can i don't know just just stuff like there's a cool effect it actually does when you reduce the metallic property for it but right now if you go back to stuff and reduce or you may see it just gives it a little bit much more bluishness like the directional light is it still doesn't reflect i think it still won't reflect the directional light 
and that's because of the um, the roughness so if you drag that out and also use the flows parameter flows parameter we should be able to you can see as we drop that in the they can see that tiny dots out there so we can just call this a reflection amount that basically what i call this if you know the name what's the proper name to call it uh let me know in the comments so yeah reflection amounts and yeah you can make it be just control how it affects light if it's yeah like how lights are interacting so that's basically it if i go over to the directional lights and i turn this up a bit you can see it actually reflects that now you might be thinking what's the need of that stuff like there's a, just a really cool effect for example maybe you want to make like the water got hot or maybe you want to make lava and you're kind of lazy you can just reduce that stuff you can see that the light will start making it turn red and yeah it actually looks like lava so yeah it's a pretty cool stuff you can you can see that so yeah that's basically what i did there's no need to actually add the metallic except you want to get something like this but yeah just going to turn that thing back to zero so <laughs> that's basically it so yeah that's okay so one more thing to add i added a cube mesh like i just why, why making this tutorial i actually just got a solution for it so basically it wasn't transparent before and basically how to do that is by so we just go back to the shader properties here and turn the blend mode from mix to add like if you try connecting the shader itself to the alpha it just turns everything transparent like i don't know why that happens so you have to fix that just make sure to have this transparency because with water uh, just turn that to add and that's basically it yeah. so that's it for this video please consider dropping a like and subscribe for more if you actually enjoyed this video and if you want to learn how to make a fire shader click the video by your left and if you want to see make a real cool game click the video by your Right, I'm Jesus and I'll see you in the next video.